chance for Oregonians to weigh in on the presidential race is still a long way off. And while Super Tuesday doesn't mean much for Oregonians who have to wait until May to cast their ballots, experts say voters should be paying attention to tonight's outcomes. Every citizen in America needs to be educated, informed, and aware of not only who these candidates are, but what they stand for and how they are going to govern. Voters in 12 states head to the polls for Super Tuesday. So what does that mean for Oregonians when they don't get to cast their ballots until May 17th? Under most circumstances, the nominee has already been chosen. The one notable exception is in 2008 when it was Clinton and Obama neck and neck. Unless Hillary really just stops campaigning and Bernie hits a great streak of, of wins, the race is in the bag because of the superdelegates. At the Jackson County Elections Office, deadlines are fast approaching for candidates filing to run and submitting information for voters' pamphlets. Jackson County Clerk Chris Walker says they're expecting a big turnout. Presidential elections in the state of Oregon, um, usually the general is in the 80 percentile, primary somewhere around 40 to 50 percent. All depends on what's on the ballot. New this year is phase two of the Oregon Motor Voter Act, which means officials will be looking for eligible voters who are not yet registered. From now until the general election, we're going to have probably at least 15 percent more registered voters. And while Oregon voters will have to wait a few more months for a piece of the political pie, Torgerson says don't let your voice be silenced. If you don't vote, you don't complain. So unless you get out there and exercise your right to vote, you are stuck with the elected officials that other people choose for you. And if you're not yet registered to vote in the state of Oregon, the deadline is April 26th. Visit OregonVotes.gov to register online.